Hello there. This is Mrs. Rice, and I have some exciting songs and information for you about the attributes of 2D and 3D shapes. Here we go. The first thing I want to talk to you about are angles. 90 degrees. Got to make sure it's not 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Best I can do with my hands. Right angle is perfect, that's a fact. Acute is small, obtuse is fat. And those are the three kinds of angles. I'm going to try it again. I'm going to start at 90 degrees, which is a perfect right angle. Eh, close enough. Right angle is perfect, that's a fact. Acute is small, obtuse is fat. Now, you know, there's a lot of angles in polygons, all of these 2D shapes that I know you're studying in school. So I am going to give you a little chant about my favorite 2D shapes and how many sides they have. So are you ready? Triangle has three sides. One, two, three. Quadrilateral has four sides. One, two, three, four. Pentagon has five sides. One, two, three, four, five. Hexagon has six sides. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six. Octagon has eight sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's just a little bit about polygons. Now, po I got some special polygons on these cards. Um, in particular, parallelograms. Now, if you'll take a look, uh, you see a rectangle, which is a parallelogram, and uh, an another parallelogram, which is kind of like a slanty rectangle, um, which shows parallel lines, and parallel lines will never cross. Down at the bottom, you see square and his slantier, pointier brother, Rhombus. Yes, they have four equal sides, um, and they are parallelograms because the lines will never cross that are so the different sides, up and down sides and right and left sides. Um, they will never cross. Um, rhombus is just a little bit slantier than a square. So those are some parallelograms, and you can even notice that the rectangle and the square have right angles that are perfectly 90 degrees. Also, the uh, other parallelograms that are slantier have a set of obtuse angles and a set of acute angles. So um, they're different, but they're parallelograms. I've got a set of triangles here, a whole bunch of different triangles, and, and you always have angles in triangles, and if you'll check out right triangle, he has a perfect 90 degree angle. Um, the two in the middle are isosceles triangles, which have two sides that are the same and one side that is different. Isosceles triangles. Now the little guy up at the top, he is, he's in a cute triangle. Look how cute he is. This guy right here, he, whoop, this guy, he, his angles are so tiny and acute, unlike scalene triangle. That scalene triangle has three different lines of three different sizes, and the angles are two acute and one obtuse. Now, oh, I put a poofy angel cloud around the equilateral triangle because all three sides and all three angles are the same. That equilateral triangle is going to definitely have three lines of symmetry. And we'll talk about that later too. So these are just my favorite triangles. And you can kind of see how the angles apply to the triangles too. Now, I have a little cheer about lines. And here it goes. Line segment. Line ray. A real line goes forever either way. A line is a bunch of points in space. So that's what I know about lines. Line segment has two endpoints. Line ray has one endpoint and one that goes on forever. One part of the line just goes on and on. And a real line does go forever either way. Um, it's going to have arrows on both of the ends of the line. And when you see a dot, that's a point. So a line just is a bunch of points in space. Now, I do have some cards with important information on them for you. 
Um, here just shows the line segment with two endpoints. The ray, which shows one endpoint and one arrow going forever, and a real line goes forever either way. Oh, parallel. Just like those parallelograms I showed you, parallel lines will never cross or intersect. It doesn't matter how you put your arms. You can put your arms up like a train track. You can put your arms up, up and down like a ladder. Uh, parallel lines will never cross or intersect. Oh, and speaking of intersect, um, intersecting lines cross at one point, like an intersection where your mom would probably stop uh, at her, with her car, your dad would stop his car. Intersecting lines will cross at one point, and you put a little dot there showing the point at which they cross, and they will form angles. You can see, I can see a couple of, I can see a whole bunch of right angles in one, and I can see some acute and obtuse angles in, whoops, in this guy right over here. Perpendicular lines. Perpendicular means there are two line segments or rays that form right angles. And a lot of times people will show, oh, yep, there's a right angle, by putting a little bitty box um, right around where the angle would be, showing that it's a perfect square because a square has all right angles. So perpendicular lines, and even this guy right here, even though he's slanty, when I turn him a little bit, can you tell that he's all right angles, perfect 90-degree angles. Perpendicular lines form right angles. So that's my information for you guys about 2D uh, shape attributes. Uh, I do have a couple more songs that I want you just to remember, and they are Area is every square inside the shape, length, times, width. Area is every square inside the shape, length, times, width. Because, you know, length is how tall something is, and wide is how wide across something is. So I hope I am longer than I am wide, but uh, y you never know. I guess I could shrink into a tiny, weird square shape, um, and then I'd be the same. Also, you need to know about perimeter. And that is adding up the sides of any shape, no matter how many sides they are. And here it is. Side plus side plus side perimeter. Side plus side plus side plus side perimeter. Side plus side plus side plus side plus side plus side perimeter. It's the way around a figure. I hope I was on tune. And I hope you learned a little bit about the attributes of shapes. Thanks for listening. We'll see you in class. Bye.